Henri Matisse was a famous artist and painter that was born in France in 1869 and died in 1954. Matisse grew up in the northern part of France, but when he got older, he ended up going to school in Paris to study law. In 1889, when Matisse was only 20 years old, he came down with appendicitis. During his recovery, he went home and his mother bought him some art supplies to give him something to do. He fell in love with painting and with art at this time, and he decided he wanted to change his career from law to become an artist. Like most artists in this time period, he was given classical training and made his paintings look very realistic. As he continued to paint, however, his style began to change. Matisse loved to travel and he often was inspired by some of the things that he would see along the way. His paintings became really bright and vivid and colorful. And for this time period, these colors have never been seen before. He displayed these bright colored paintings in galleries and they shocked many people. An art critic had called him a fauve, which is a French derived word meaning wild beast. Fauvism was a movement in art and style of painting which used bright, vivid, unnatural colors. Fauvism originated in Paris, France in 1905 when a French art critic spoke of Henri Matisse's art. Look closely at the black outlines, the bright colors, and the use of pattern in all of his paintings. Rather than paint in a realistic style, this movement and style of art called Fauvism used color to express emotion in all of these paintings. In his later years, Matisse began to experiment with cut paper collage. After recovering from an illness, Matisse was confined to his wheelchair, but that didn't stop him from creating art. He was unable to paint, but he was able to create and cut beautiful pieces of cut paper collage designs. Sometimes in his studio, he would have an assistant tack them up on the wall for him so he could see them large and on display. Matisse's cutouts were some of his greatest works of art. Look at the shapes, lines, and colors used within each picture. inspired artwork today. You'll need some old magazines, glue, scissors, white paper, either a black Sharpie pen or a black marker or crayon, and brightly colored markers or crayons. In the pieces later years, he loved doing cut paper collage. And with old magazines, you could find beautiful colors and shapes and cut out all different shapes that you saw in his artwork, like organic shapes, which are shapes made from nature, uh, like leaves or soft shapes, or also some geometric shapes like triangles, squares, circles, rectangles. And you're gonna just lay out all these interesting shapes, and not glue anything, uh, down on your paper, and we're gonna build a composition. So I'm gonna cut out some paper and some shapes, and 
will lay it out when I'm all done. So here I have a whole bunch of shapes that I cut out. Some are geometric shapes, squares, triangles, zigzags, some are organic shapes. And what I want you to do before you glue it down is move your pieces around. Remember, Henri Matisse was in a wheelchair when he did his collage uh, designs, and a lot of time he'd have an assistant move them around for him. As he sat in his uh, wheelchair, he couldn't get up and pin them on the wall. Actually, if you go to an art museum where you can see some of his art, uh, the Museum of Modern Art in New York City and the Metropolitan Museum of Art, they have uh, examples of his artwork, and up close you could see little teeny pinholes in his cut paper designs and those pinholes were because he kept changing his mind and moving things around um, to see what really looked beautiful. So I'm going to kind of think about my composition, meaning my entire page, and I want to think about balance. And balance would be if I had all my shapes, let's say, glued to one side and this was all empty, it would look a little bit out of balance. So we're going to really think about what's going to look beautiful and take your time and move everything around and when you find your design that looks great then you're going to take your glue and glue down all your pieces. So let's see how I do. Here I have my finished Matisse inspired collage just using shapes organic shapes and some geometric shapes that I cut out of magazines using the colors and I came up with an abstract design. Remember abstract art does not represent reality but it's nice and bright and colorful and it kind of looks just like one of his cut paper collage designs. Now another option if you do not want to work in collage and you would rather draw or paint something is to really look at Matisse's paintings and these are just pictures of them. His real paintings were very large, but this one was called Red Interior Still Life on a Blue Table. And if you look closely, you can see that bright red colors. Um, you can see the background has a big pattern in it. It's almost like a childlike cartoon version. So it's a lot of fun to do a still life like this because you don't have to make it perfect. Here's another one of his interiors. And again, you could see his vases of flowers on the table. Uh, I believe there's one on the back here as well the fruit bowl, again with the patterns and big black outlines. So this could be fun if you have paints or, or markers or crayons. I'm going to allow you to just kind of come up with something on your own. For instance, this was one of my students last year that did a still life vase with a rose in it. So I would start out, not even in pencil for this, I would use a black marker. And if I'm going to do a vase of flowers or something that resembles a fauve inspired artwork, you know, don't worry about making a mistake because if you look closely at, at Matisse's work, it's all out of perspective. I'm just gonna sketch a vase, any shape. I'm not even gonna make it look symmetrical. I want it to be a little bit off. Then I'm gonna maybe make a table. My marker is running out of ink here. Go over those lines. I want them to be really thick, the black lines, because they, they're going to really pop when you color them in with markers. Now, if you have a Sharpie pen, you can do this because Sharpies don't bleed onto the colored markers. If you don't have a Sharpie pen and you have just uh, regular markers, then I would start out with your black line with a crayon because that won't bleed onto the markers. So I'm going to make just an interesting. Remember, I'm not making this realistic. I'm making an interesting flower, maybe some leaves, and I'm gonna make another leaf here. Maybe I'll make another flower coming up here. And then I'm gonna make a funky background so it looks like the style of Matisse. And then I'm gonna color it in in bright colors because remember, this is the style and movement of art called Fauvism. I'm going to separate my spaces and then color it in. And this is another option if you don't want to use or do collage. Two 
finished Matisse inspired works of art. This one was done with markers and black outlines in the style of Fauvism, making it really bright and shocking and unrealistic. And again, in his later years, Matisse did his cut paper collage and very abstract designs using geometric or an organic shapes. So you can choose whichever medium you want to use for this assignment and have a lot of fun. Don't forget to take a picture. Thank you.